Hello everyone, today I am here with a special message for those who feel chosen. This message might not resonate with everyone, but for a select few, it will hit home. It's becoming clear to many of you just how potent your presence is, though some may still be unaware. Unbeknownst to you, you have been surrounded by entities that the world might label as dark witches and warlocks, driven by their desire to thwart your divine mission. These beings have actively engaged in spell work aimed at draining your energy and dimming your spiritual light. They've targeted your finances, mental health, spiritual growth and love life with intense energy and malicious intent, summoning dark forces in their efforts. However, what they failed to recognize is the extent of your power and protection. They underestimated you, assuming you were inexperienced in spiritual matters and vulnerable to their attacks. They thought you lacked the knowledge to shield yourself, elevate your energy and connect spiritually. But they were wrong, and now it's becoming increasingly clear just how strong and protected you truly are. Their intention was to keep you dormant, unaware of your burgeoning spiritual prowess. Yet, what they didn't anticipate was the exponential growth of your spiritual gifts. Gifts that have now taught them a lesson. Once revered as high-ranking dark entities like witches and warlocks, they placed you in solitude, unknowingly nurturing the very power they feared. In this forced seclusion, your spiritual abilities sharpened, offering you crystal clear insights that necessitated a strengthening of your defenses. This period of introspection brought you closer to your divine guardians, enhancing your communication with your spiritual team and solidifying your resolve to ascend to your higher purpose. As you grew, the veil of deceit lifted, exposing the superficial connections that once ensnared you. Those who opposed you, hidden behind the scenes, now grapple with bruised egos. For years, their influence wreaked havoc in the lives of the unguarded. But you were different. Their conventional tactics failed against you, unveiling their impotence and shaking their foundations. This confrontation with you marked a turning point. It set their destinies on a path of inevitable downfall. Their collective efforts to crush your spirit through elaborate rituals and ceremonies only showcased their desperation. They now face the profound consequences of underestimating your strength and resilience. As they witness your continued rise, unscathed by their best efforts, their confusion deepens. How could you, seemingly alone and isolated, withstand and transcend their greatest attacks? This enigma continues to unravel them as they confront the reality of their failure against a truly empowered soul. Every time they tried to suppress you, you emerged stronger, which left them baffled and questioning their effectiveness. They gathered amongst themselves, perplexed, forced to confront the uncomfortable truth that perhaps they weren't as formidable as they believed. This realization prompted a profound reassessment of their beliefs and the powers they once revered. They now understand that what they considered potent is trivial in the face of your spiritual ascendancy. Their envy of your spiritual gifts is palpable, but their deeper frustration stems from their spectacular failure to derail your journey toward enlightenment and your divine role as a teacher, leader and healer. This failure has catalyzed a significant transformation in you. You are now diverging from past practices that no longer align with your spiritual mission. You've awakened to the realization that your purpose involves substantial spiritual work, uplifting humanity and fostering a collective rise in consciousness. This new understanding marks a departure from the religious doctrines you were raised with, which perhaps labeled such spiritual practices as misguided or evil. You now see that these practices, connecting with ancestors, engaging with angels, creating sacred spaces, and using natural elements for healing, are not just benign, but are potent tools meant specifically for the chosen. The narrative that these spiritual tools were wicked was a distortion, a perversion by those who once understood their power and used it for harm. While the chosen were dormant, these gatekeepers manipulated spiritual knowledge performing rituals and spell work designed to ensure that you lived a predestined life of struggle, 
influenced by the trials imposed on your ancestors. This understanding has now empowered you to reclaim these spiritual tools and use them righteously, aligning with your true purpose and transcending the limitations they hoped to impose. As you continue to ascend and embrace your role, those who once sought to control and confine your spiritual path are left to witness the powerful unfoldment of your divine destiny, unable to hinder your progress any longer. For the Chosen, there have always been gatekeepers appointed by the powers that be, ensuring you remain shackled within the confines of the societal matrix. Yet, you have awakened, remembering who you truly are. Rejecting the restrictive rules imposed by society, you chose rebellion, breaking free with conviction to restore balance and reclaim your rightful place and tools bestowed by the Most High for the Chosen to heal, awaken, and activate their divine essence. You began using tools labeled as wicked by your foes, who underestimated your spiritual awakening. They thought they could crush you, hoping you'd never rise again, and some even wished for your ultimate demise. However, their plans have spectacularly backfired. Now they see your strength and resilience, recognizing that they have lost and you have triumphed, a reality they struggle to accept. Despite their efforts to bury you, what they didn't realize was that they weren't burying you. They were planting you. In that soil, in the darkness, you were not hindered, but nourished and grounded. This was where you found yourself, got watered, healed, purified, and reconnected with your roots and Mother Earth. From that darkness, you have sprouted, and now the world watches as you rise, growing into something unimaginable, even to those who sought to hold you back. They are dismayed as you continue to overcome, evolving far beyond their grasp. Every trap and snare they set was futile because you were meant to be more than their sacrifice. You were destined to be a beacon of hope and transformation. As you blossom, those who once plotted against you witness a phoenix rising from the ashes, marveling at your liberation and the grandeur of your ascent. What they intended for your downfall has become the foundation of your extraordinary rise, proving once and for all that the Chosen cannot be contained by the shadows cast upon them. You were intended to be a sacrifice that would empower them, enabling them to claim victory over yet another soul. But they severely underestimated you. Now, they're feeling the stark repercussions of their actions. As the karma they deserve, boomerangs back to them, bringing a profound sense of dread. These individuals thrived on creating havoc. Instigating trauma, drama, and pain was their way of life. Ironically, despite their united front against you, they harbored no genuine affinity for each other. Yet, through this ordeal, your spiritual discernment sharpened, your intuition guided you, lifting your spirit and opening your eyes to the true nature of those around you. As you began to sever ties, not just physically but spiritually, you embraced your true self, realizing your inherent authority to grow, protect your energy and reclaim your power. You declared a righteous judgment upon your adversaries, no longer submissive or passive. You recognized the power of your thoughts and the divine assignment bestowed upon you. You understood that the trials you faced were not meant to break you, but to test your mettle, to refine you into a diamond. Now, shining brightly, embodying your divine masculine and feminine energies in balance, you are attracting the very blessings you once prayed for. Those who opposed you now watch in regret as they face the severe consequences of their actions. There is no escaping the justice due to them. This balancing of energies was inevitable. They chose their path, and now they must accept their grim fate. Meanwhile, you have transcended the turmoil. You've regained health, overcome destructive habits, and released toxic relationships. You've shattered generational curses that weighed down your lineage, liberating yourself and your ancestors. This spiritual liberation was not just for your benefit, but served a higher purpose, demonstrating the immense power and resilience of the human spirit when aligned with the divine. Now, what once seemed immovable has shifted and you stand renewed, a testament to the transformative power of faith and inner strength. Now, as you've stepped into your power, your spiritual team is more active than ever. 
They've always been there, but it's your asking, your reaching out that beckons them to intervene, to protect and elevate you. Your adversaries, those who once tried to dim your light with spells and dark energies, underestimated the robust protection of your ancestors and the divine team supporting you. They failed to recognize the royalty in your bloodline, the sacred codes within your DNA that link you to ancient wisdom and cosmic powers. You possess a connection to elemental and celestial forces, earth, wind, water, fire, stars and planets. A connection so profound that it dwarfs any malevolent intent directed towards you. Those who opposed you, even using demonic forces, found that their efforts were futile as these lower entities must bow before the high vibrational presence you embody. Amidst their confusion and the crumbling of their own foundations, you've only grown stronger and more connected to your divine purpose. You've accessed Akashic records, tapped into age-old wisdom, and realized your role not just as a survivor, but as a leader, a teacher, a healer. The traps and snares laid out for you became the very catalysts for your spiritual awakening and empowerment. Now, what once seemed impossible is manifesting. The ties to toxic relationships and energies have been severed, allowing your true potential to unfurl. The wicked intentions of your foes have lost their grip, leaving you not just standing, but rising, soaring to new heights as you align more fully with your divine calling. The floodgates are open now, releasing a deluge of blessings, spiritual gifts, and profound inner peace that had been withheld by those who feared your ascension. As you embrace your destiny, you reclaim everything that was meant for you, your inheritance, your sovereignty, your rightful place in the universe. This is your time to shine, to show the world the strength and grace of being divinely chosen, a testament to the power of faith and the undeniable force of your spiritual lineage. Let them observe from afar their attention on you is inevitable as they navigate the repercussions of their actions. As they watch, they must also dodge the consequences that relentlessly pursue them. Despite their efforts to evade, the Most High's aim is unerring. Witnessing your ascent, they'll see their own lives spiral, a direct result of their choices. It's not a situation to pity, for karma is necessary to restore balance. This process compels them to introspect, to heal, and to eventually understand the gravity of meddling with the Chosen. Through their trials, they may find humility and recognize the supreme authority of the Most High, Mother and Father, who hold the ultimate power over our destinies. No force, be it demonic or human, can alter what the Divine has ordained. That's the essence of my message today, and I look forward to our next conversation.